People often ask me, uh, how can you go into work in the morning? Aren't you profoundly depressed? You know, you know what the likely outcomes are and where, where are those rays of hope uh, that, uh, that make your life bearable? And for me, uh, one of the answers to that kind of question is that uh, over my lifetime as a climate scientist, I've seen these twin signals. One is this signal in the physical climate system warming of the ocean, warming of the land surface, warming of the atmosphere. But in tandem with that physical signal, I think there has been a signal in public understanding. We've moved from 20 years ago, uh, we don't really know whether it's warming or not, to warming is unequivocal. We've moved from 20 years ago, we don't really know much about causation here, to most of the observed change over the second half of the 20th century in global mean surface temperature is extremely likely due to human intervention in the climate system. We've, we've moved from um, denying the science to uh, informed discussions on the what to do about it. Uh, that makes me extremely hopeful, actually, that people uh, who never would have listened to me even five years ago are now willing to give me 30 minutes of their time to listen to the science. Pure, unvarnished account of what we know with confidence, what we don't know, and uh, why they need to care about it. Uh, that makes me hopeful. This makes me hopeful, Climate One. This is uh, a safe place where people with very different perspectives on the science and the solutions can have a discussion on the what to do about it. Uh, it makes me hopeful that we have things like Kyoto, we have things like Copenhagen, we have uh, these meetings where even though nations go in with tremendous differences in national self-interest, they're sitting at the same table. They recognize that this is a serious problem, a credible problem, we need to do something about it. Uh, for all of those reasons, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm not so knowledgeable on the solution side of things, but I do think that, um, as Steve would have put it, this false dichotomy, you can either preserve millions of American jobs or do something about climate change, is just that, false. The reality is that uh, uh, individuals, companies, countries who figure out cheap, uh, efficient ways of providing low carbon energy are gonna be the leaders of the 21st century. And we have a real choice here in the United States, either to be leaders in that endeavor or to be followers. I hope we're leaders, not followers.